now that I realize that cows are so lazy, is walk around all slow, drink water, and then walk around, eat some food, and they lay down. Even when they walk, it's like so lazy. Anyways, I'm here at the river. Um, Rafael and his dad went fishing. I was kind of late, so I didn't go. I do have a fishing pole, but I don't have any uh, bait, so I can't really fish. Because I will fish here. Well, I'm here because it's very shallow, but I will go over there and fish. But I don't have any bait, so can't do that. You guys are back. Let's see if they caught anything. And this is what I got. It's right in the center. We're just shooting BBs with this rifle right here. You're shooting the shit. It's not too far. But the aim is not bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Some of you guys can see we had the can on that tree right there. So probably like 10 meters. Or 8 meters. Next shooter up. Dude, how many meters is that? Um, I think maybe... 15? 15? I think. No, like 10, dude. <laughs> 10? I think 15. Or... Go for it. Nope. But you can do it. No? Okay. <laughs> We're on day two of night fishing. We got another person in the team now. And it's actually true, we catch more fish when it's night, nightfall than when it's day. They like to eat at night. So guys, we're having a typical Brazilian barbecue. And I haven't introduced, um, hey, I haven't introduced uh, Rafael's dad. This is him. Nelson. <laughs> Nelson, donde, donde nasceu? Brasilia, capital do Brasil. Brasilia, DF. Probably the oldest person you were seen born in Brasilia. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the few that was born and raised in Brasilia. Yeah, it's rather rare. Because that's very rare. But John, uh, I was born in Brasilia, but I'm too young. And he's a cook of this, a churrasco. And... His wife made this for us, which is a uh, yuca, yuca root. It's day three of night fishing. There's a bunch of people spear fishing. So they dive and then spear fish. Guys, today's Sunday and today we go back to Brasilia. We were here for four nights. It was pretty good. We were off the grid. No internet, no cell phones. It was really good. I, I'm, I didn't show you the whole thing. Uh, when we were fishing, I couldn't show you because we kept jumping into the water and out of the water. So I couldn't film that. And besides, it was really dark. We have seven days left to go back to Denver. So, I do look forward to going back, but at the same time, kind of got used to this because I've been here for so long. So, you start getting used to things and it's harder to move on. But we have to do it. Guys, this is the fried fish that we caught in the past four days. And I will introduce you to someone. Her name is Mariquita. And she's the owner of this farm. And she's the one who invited us here. And she's been take, taking care of us the whole four days. She's very nice of her. Uh, she's Rafael's. Dad's wife, mom. Okay, you guys, that spider was on me. It was in my pocket of my jeans, of my shorts. And I put my hand in and it grabbed my hand. <laughs> and I shook it off and it went all right over there. <laughs> thing about living in a farm is the intruders. <laughs> We're back in Brasilia, me and Rafael are good with his dad, we ate there and now we're going back to Flavio's house. But before we do that, we're gonna check this place out. Which Rafael was telling me is in so many of my videos and we're finally gonna check it out in person. Maybe. It might be closed. 
so there it is guys it's actually smaller than what it looks like from the from far away because everything here is so flat all the buildings are very very short so it looks very very tall still pretty nice and there's two restaurants one there one there but we can't go up because it's closed although these guys just moved the barrier and drove through <laughs> 